there are limited options for patients with Hodgkin lymphoma who have progressed after brentuximab vidotin or PD-1 blockade. But there are a lot of new potential uh, ways to treat these patients. And so one way uh, is that we've been using either epigenetic modifying agents or other combination drugs to try to overcome resistance to BV and PD-1 blockade. Uh, and so, for example, we've used HDAC inhibitors. Uh, we have an ongoing study using the hypomethylating agent uh, azacitidine uh, in its oral form. Uh, and we've seen excellent responses uh, in patients who have progressed on PD-1 blockade, uh, even as their most recent therapy. And so it suggests that we can kind of resensitize patients potentially to PD-1 blockade. There are also new agents like camadanilumab tesserine, an anti-CD25 antibody drug conjugate uh, that uh, has been shown to be effective uh, in these patients. There are also cellular therapies that are in development like CD30 CAR T cells, cord, uh, cord blood derived NK cells combined with a, uh, an NK engager, lots of different options. There's actually just old chemotherapy. It, it seems that it's more effective in patients who have uh, recently received uh, PD-1 blockade, so there's this potential uh, chemosensitization effect that we observe, uh, and so that also is an option uh, for these patients.